Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, so today I've got a pencil and wash watercolour for you. Uh, you'll probably recognise the scene. It's uh, taken from the graphite drawing that I've done last time in the previous video. Uh, if you've not seen that, I'll leave a link for you in the description below if you're interested in watching it. Um, I'm working on some Langton Prestige uh, watercolour paper for this one. Uh, really lovely paper to work on, really is. Um, really forgiving paper. Um, I think I probably prefer it over arches actually. I've been using it for the last couple of years on and off. It's quite an expensive paper but definitely well worth it. Now this is just going to be a quick 10 minute video um, of the painting process. Um, there's a full, full length version of this over on my Patreon channel. Um, all in real time with real time um, voice and everything. No voiceovers or anything. Everything's all in real time so you see it all happening as it's happening. Um, I'll leave links to Patreon in the description below and on the end screen cards as well if you're interested in seeing the full version of this. Um, I think it's about two hours, two and a half hours long or something. Um, that's about how long it took me to do this one which is a nice change from the sort of 30 to 50 hour pencil drawings that I do. Uh, it's nice just to sit down and get the watercolours out for a couple of hours and uh, just relax and enjoy painting. Um, it was a really nice scene to paint actually. Um, once the pencil work's done, um, you know, you can just kind of sit back, put these light glazes over the top and just keep layering up with light layers, light glazes. Um, it's really easy to do. You know, most of the work here um, is done with the graphite initially. Um, and then obviously we're just kind of trying to incorporate that graphite into the painting so we get some of the textures showing through the light washes that I'm applying there. Um, on, the tr on the bushes and the plants and things like that it's almost unavoidable that you're going to lose some of the texture there um, because we've got quite a few dark tones there. I'll insert um, the reference for you now in the top corner there so you can just sort of have a look at the picture to see what it looks like in colour. And as always, that uh, reference picture will be available to download um, on my Patreon page uh, for the members only, of course. Um, so if you want to just check out my Patreon channel, you can get access to all of the reference photos for just a dollar a month, plus sneak peek videos, um, and you'll be able to access the community and post your own artwork. And for just four dollars a month, you can access all of the videos that have been posted on Patreon all the back catalogue from when I very first started a couple of years ago. Um, there's hundreds of videos on there. Lots and lots of different projects from pencil and wash watercolours to full on graphite drawings. And there's a few mixed media projects on there. And you'll be able to watch all of them for just $4 a month. That's all it is. Um, I should probably mention as well about the colours that I'm actually using. Now I can't remember exactly what they are again. They'll all be mentioned over on Patreon. You know, I'll be talking about them as I'm using them but I've actually been very kindly sent some um, some new colours to try out uh, I've got pyrrole orange, perylene green, uh, moon glow, green gold um, there's quite a few Daniel Smith colours there which I got sent the green gold is absolutely beautiful really lovely colour for landscapes particularly for those highlights on trees, sunlit trees, things like that um, so I've got quite a few colours now which I'm trying out, which I've never used before and I'm um, really enjoying using them as well, they're really, really lovely colours. So you'll be seeing me using them a lot more in the future videos. Um, so I'm starting to get into the Daniel Smith paints a little bit more now. Really nice quality paints, very expensive but again you get what you pay for. Um, but the colours really are strong, rich and vibrant, wonderful colours. And you can see there that I'm still using my trusty old 30 year old watercolour palette there. Um, I absolutely love that palette. I said two years ago that I was going to restore it. You'll probably notice there in the, the well at the end, the mixing well at the end there, all the paints kind of flaking off and you can see the bare metal underneath. A couple of the other mixing wells are like that as well. Um, so I think this year I'm going to have to get the paint stripper out, get the spray cans out and restore this. Uh, I know I said I was going to do that two years ago but I think the time has come. 
and it's time for me to restore this it's actually not in bad shape at all I mean it's not dented or broken in any way it's just that all the paint is all the enamel paint is just kind of flaking off everywhere but the metal underneath is completely shiny it's, it's got sort of a looks like a, a zinc primer or something on it so there's actually hardly any rust anywhere so it's definitely worth doing um, so I'll probably do some kind of step-by-step -step photos of that as I'm restoring that because I know there's other people out there that like the old watercolour palettes and things like that and they like to restore them and that kind of thing so I'll try and document it as I'm doing it but I'm going to wait until we're in the middle of summer so we've got nice hot weather um, and I can spray outside and um, enamel paint dries a lot better and a lot harder you know when it's warm usually it's best to kind of bake them or something in an oven but if you just kind of leave them out in the shade you know on a hot sunny day after you spray painted them um, you know that'll be good enough anyway I'll let you watch the rest of the video in peace now you've probably heard enough about my palette um, so as always just remember if you want to paint along with this as a project um, there's two two long videos over on patreon to accompany this and there'll be links in the end screen and in the description below if you want to join up on Patreon for a very small monthly fee and you're not committed to anything, you can um, just cancel at any time. Definitely worth checking out. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.